and we're back in the workshop after a couple of days of feeling sorry for myself sat in front of the stove snivelling and shivering um, next job is to secure the drive gear for the carriage onto the new ball gear shaft um, it was done with a pair or provision for a pair of grub screws and when I took it all apart there was only one fitted it's a uh, something like 7 64 or 7 30 seconds or something it's an odd ball size probably wasn't when it was done but um i thought well i'll just replace those and then started looking to try and get hold of one um most sellers on ebay are out of stock and my local depot yes i can have them if i could buy a box of 50 which i don't want <coughs> so we're uh, going for what we've got which we've got that measures near as damn it nine and a half mil so an m10 would have been the logical choice i don't have any so we're going for m8 um so i was thinking initially i thought well i'll just put two in that looks a bit feeble so then i went to three and then decided well i might as well make it four because i've got four so we'll set four up you can work where, where the next one goes. So just going to mark it out and then stick it up on the pillar drill. Drill it and tap it. So that's where we're up to. <clears throat> Marked them all out. Uh, drilled and tapped the first one. Well, it's, only, it's tapped a quarter of an inch in and just dropped in a uh, short M8 grub screw. That will just make sure that that stays in alignment with that. We've just done the next one. Unfortunately, I've not got room to fit a tap wrench around it. And I don't fancy trying to do it with a spanner, so I'm going to undo the clamps, bring it forward, tap it down a bit more, and then index it around and do the next one. Now, I'm sure the correct way of doing this is doing it on a, a rotary table, and I don't know, if you've got the kit, it's great, but when you haven't, you make do. Uh, besides which, it's only got to accept, it's only this, this thing's got to line up, so... As long as that's in and doesn't doesn't move, it should be fine. I think. So that's that job done. The uh, grub screws are sunk nicely below the surface. Uh, there's a, actually a collar that sits over the top, which clamps, screwed onto the shaft, and clamps down. So there's no chance of them actually coming out anyway. Um. Just had another look at the original shaft. Uh, just to try and get get an idea as to how that surface there gets lubricated. And uh, it would appear there's a hole. So we'll have a look and see. Uh, get some dimensions off that. But it's definitely. Uh, cut so it runs into that bearing surface and on the other end which is not easy to see come on focus your swine there is very faint come on There at the end of his thumb, you can just see where the hole's been drilled in line with that one. Obviously, you can't see where it went to, but it's uh, it's you can just see the internal bearing surface before the rough casting. So, seems like I've got to drill a couple of holes, and then I think we're pretty much sorted. So I'll measure up and uh, mark them out and get them drilled. I think I'm going to go in and have a cup of tea and a uh, couple of paracetamol again. So that's the central shaft fitted obviously the ball gear fits against here and then that contacts the other bevel gear and then on this end the drive and that's the locking collar once the uh, strokes adjusted I just grab the shaft loosen that off that turns nice and freely And then locks up. 
got to clean this up. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. He's, he's going to need, uh, well, well, my guess is about 30 thou depth of cut to clean that up. And then I've got to either re nail it or put a, another boss on. Give me a handhold. But we're looking alright. Drop some oil down there and there. And it seems to uh, transfer alright. Just have a look in a sec. alright so the next job's to uh, take it all apart give it a good clean and see whether it fits on the ball gear so I've cleaned off the ball gear um, polished up that edge set all the uh, countersunk screws in check there they sink far enough and they do and the uh, the shafts in the freezer with the chickens so the chicken breasts we'll give it overnight in the freezer chill it down i think the freezer is about minus 25 um, it just starts to go in so it could probably would probably go with a good tap but uh, i don't want to get it halfway and then get it stuck so freeze it down and see if that gives me a little bit more and uh, we're marked we know that there's a position on the shaft which is that edge and everything else lines up then fingers crossed so that's tomorrow morning's job success Sunday morning the shafts straight out the freezer uh, it's minus 22 degrees I've had the ball gear sat on the oil radiator that's at 45 degrees a um, couple of light taps with a dead blow mallet on the top and uh, it's seated down okay and the uh, screws are all in so I'm going to wipe off the condensation and uh, hopefully it won't rust together oh, very very relieved next job once it's warmed up to room temperature put it into the uh, shape a body with the bearing housing and just check all the clearances again very relieved of course it won't be if it don't bloody fit <laughs> it's quite a rewarding sign Even rotates. It's a bit of bedding in. There's a little amount of end, end float between the end of that gear and the end of the bearing housing. Um, I'll have to check the dimension of that part. That might need a smidgen coming off. And I suspect it's going to take quite a bit of oil. I keep topping it up and it keeps going down. So it'd be interesting to see where it ends up. It's pulling it in though, but there's quite a big oil cavity. Yeah, it's a quarter of an inch wide by an eighth of an inch deep V groove, the full length of this bearing. Sounds smooth enough though. And there's no, doesn't appear to be when I try and lift it, any movement, which is what I expected, what I was aiming for. So that's that part. Uh, 
pretty much sorted which is uh, I'm feeling quite uh, quite happy about that anyway it's all got to come apart again and then uh, work out the sequence for rebuilding it all my, obviously my focus has been on getting that ball gear sorted now that's done I can uh, reevaluate what's next <laughs>